What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're learning how to get reimbursed for expenses and how to reinvoice those expenses when we purchase materials or services on behalf of a customer. Sometimes it's necessary for employees to purchase work-related items for a customer, and instead of creating a separate invoice for those expenses, Odoo can automatically reinvoice expenses onto a customer's sales order, which helps eliminate extra paperwork. Our customer, Spin City Roller Skates, is purchasing custom benches for their new showroom. They wanted a few different fabrics for their seats, and they agreed to cover the extra cost for procuring extra fabric samples. I purchased a variety of fabric samples, presented it to Spin City Roller Skates, and then they're going to choose their favorite prototype. Currently, we have a meeting scheduled for them to view the prototype and decide whether to proceed with the six benches that they requested, or they can explore other fabric options as well. Today, we're going to learn how to track these costs, reinvoice them back to the customer, and then reimburse our employees. Sounds good, right? All right, let's dive into our database and see how to handle this special project. All right, we're starting off on our main expense app dashboard. First, let's take a look at our expense categories, and we're going to do that by clicking configuration, followed by expense categories. Now, expense categories must be configured for reinvoicing. If not, I can't reinvoice any expenses using that expense category. So I'm going to look into our general expenses category. And first thing to note is our invoicing section. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the current setting does not allow us to reinvoice expenses. To reinvoice the actual expense cost to the customer, I'm going to click at cost. On the other hand, if sales price was selected, a field would appear, which would require me to enter a fixed price amount for reinvoicing rather than using the actual cost. But since we need the flexibility to reinvoice the variable actual cost, I'm going to change this back to at cost. Okay, now that our expense category is properly configured, I need to create my expense. To do that, I'm going to click my expenses at the top, followed by my expenses once again, and I'm going to click upload in the top left hand corner. Here, I'm just going to upload my receipt from Fabric Mart. And there's my expense. Pretty awesome, right? Now I just need to click into this expense and make a few changes. First thing I need to do is update the description. I'm going to change this from food and change it to fabric samples, Spin City roller skates, and Odoo has correctly populated the other fields on the receipt. So special emphasis on this paid by section right here. I'm going to leave this set to employee because I paid for the items up front and my company Stealthy Wood needs to pay me back. But wait. Earlier I said we need to charge the customer. That's handled by this field right here in the customer to reinvoice field. When I click into this field, I'm presented with a list of sales orders in the database that I can select from. And in this case, I'm going to select our most recent sales order from Spin City Roller Skates. All right, now that I have my expense record, I can create an expense report. So all I have to do is click the create report button and an expense report is automatically created, and it has all the information from my expense record. This looks perfect, so I'm just going to click Submit to Manager, and off it goes through the approval process. Whoa, did you see that? A sales order smart button appeared right up here. When I click into it, I can see my Spin City Roller Skates sales order. Hmm. I just see my custom benches listed and not the expenses. That's because this expense report hasn't been submitted yet. So let's see when we'll see the expense line items appear and I'll click into the expense report breadcrumb to return to the report. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's pretend that I'm now Monty Money, so I'm gonna take it from here. Hello, I'm Monty Money and I approve this expense report. So I'm just gonna click approve here in the top left and I'm also going to click post journal entries to have all the accounting information updated. Now that all the expense reports have a status of posted, it should now appear on my sales order. And look at that. There's our expense right here in the order lines. It appears as a line item in the sales line section of the sales order. The product is the general expense, which I can tell from this code right here, exp underscore gen. It even shows me the description of the expense, 
which is Mitchell Admin, Fabric Samples, Spin City Roller Skates. And it also has the total added to reflect the total that was on the expense report, which is $30.24. And that's it. Today we learned how to reinvoice expenses to a customer and walk through a specific use case where we needed to reinvoice a customer for a specific expense. I'll see you in other tutorials and till then keep those receipts.